hello everyone uh, the topic today we cover is uh, mental retardation or intellectual disability we can say so the mental retardation uh, it is a worldwide problem so while come to this mental retardation we can say that it is a uh, developmental disability okay it is a developmental disability that causes the limitation of daily activities or daily skills of a person or an individual so while coming to this one usually it may be present at the time of birth itself or in later developmental stages it may be developing so that is the mental retardation and in icd international classification so they have classified this under chapter f 70 to 79 and now we'll see the definition of mental retardation so while coming to the definition so the mental retardation it is defined as uh, significantly sub average or below average intellectual ability that is manifested during the developmental period so now we'll see the meaning of this one so if you come to the sub average or below average that means the intelligence of a patient means intelligence quotient or iq of a person will be less than 70 then we can say the person will be having mental retardation then what is the intelligence quotient so there are so many intelligence tests are there will uh, will go for this uh, intelligence test and the score will be getting that we called as a mental age so in iq will calculate the iq by uh, mental age divided by chronological age chronological age is nothing but the actual age of person in it will be multiplied by 100 that will be getting the iq that means the iq or intelligence quotient is uh, ma by ta into 100 so that particular score if it is less than 70 will uh, uh, consider that the person will be having mental retardation so that is called as a sub average or below average we can say and this is usually present at the time of birth itself the defect will be at the time of birth itself or later it may be developing and now we'll see the epidemiology epidemiology means what's the incidence and prevalence of this particular mental retardation so if you come to the epidemiology worldwide three percentage of uh, people will be suffering with mental retardation and in india if you consider every five children among uh, thousand population okay among thousand children every five children will be suffering from mental retardation now we'll see the uh, etiological factor so welcome to the etiology of mental retardation the etiology may be uh, biological perinatal and environmental factors so first we'll move to the biological factor in the biological there are mainly genetic and hereditary factor through the genes uh, the problem may be or if there is any chromosomal abnormality mental retardation may occur so while coming to the chromosomal abnormality uh, we can say down syndrome turner syndrome fragile x chromosome these are the uh, chromosomal causes of mental retardation and while coming to the inborn errors of metabolism certain metabolical errors that can cause the uh, mental retardation like uh, phenyl ketonuria or galactosemia wins tumor these are the common metabolic errors that can cause the mental retardation now we'll see the perinatal causes so perinatal cause means the antenatal intranatal and postnatal causes that is mainly for the mother we'll see during the pregnancy time what are the factors it can lead to the mental retardation so during the uh, pregnancy time if the mother is not taking a proper nutrition the malnutrition if she is undergoing for uh, various uh, radiological examination the radiation or if she is getting an accidental falling accidentally mother got um, fallen down and the baby is getting injury the fetus is getting injury mm, that is another causes then any type of infection maternal infection like torch infection is the best example toxoplasmosis rubella uh, cytomegalovirus uh, then herpes simplex so these are the infection can cause the mental retardation then come to the intranatal causes intranatal causes means during the uh, delivery time okay during the delivery time if the, it is a prolonged labor the labor time is uh, more than 15 hours the baby may not be getting proper oxygen then the uh, oxygen supply to the brain may be reducing then any type of birth injuries if you are going for an obstetrical delivery so if the baby is obstructed 
we want to take out the baby through certain forceps then it may be cause damage to the brain or uh, if aseptic techniques we are not following then it can cause any type of infection during the delivery so all these thing leads to the mental retardation in future then the postnatal causes so after delivery if the baby is not getting a proper nutrition malnutrition or any type of infection or sometimes injury maybe head injury or such type of injury the baby is getting so these are the postnatal causes of uh, mental retardation come to the environmental factors so it may be related to the environment after when the baby is growing certain environmental factor like uh, child abuse the uh, proper care take, take caretakers are not giving proper care to the baby like a malnutrition all these things can lead to the mental retardation so these are the various etiological factors so now we'll see what are the types of mental retardation so the mental retardation which is mainly divided into four mild mental retardation moderate mental retardation severe mental retardation and profound mental retardation now we'll see one by one while come to the mild mental retardation the iq which ranges from 50 to 70 and this group is termed as an educable group because in the preschool age they will be developing as a normal child until sixth class they can be undergo school education after that they cannot continue with the higher classes there will be a school dropout will be there and uh, their uh, semi-skilled work will be trained for this particular group come to the next one the moderate mental retardation so i'll come to the moderate mental retardation the iq which ranges from 35 to 50 and this age group which is termed as a trainable group because uh, they cannot continue with this uh, so up to sixth class also they will be going up to second standard after that they will drop out but the semi skilled work or some of the work will be under the supervision we can train this particular group come to the next one the severe mental retardation so here the iq which ranges from 20 to 35 and while coming to this one they will be having severe or marked disturbance with the communication problem or language development and they will be termed as a dependent group because most of the work they have to depend another person maybe the caretakers or maybe the parents come to the last one the profound mental retardation so here uh, the iq will be less than 20 they will be having marked disturbance with, uh, disturbance with all the developmental milestone and they need a life support because these people may not be walking or they may not be able to walk may not be able to stand they may be usually bedridden they may be having other medical complications so usually they will be need a life support so these are the types of mental retardation then come to the clinical features what are the common features of mental retardation so already i told that it's a developmental disability that means all the developmental milestone will be delayed they may be having problem with learning all the psychomotor activity will be delayed and they are unable to follow the, our commands then uh, they will be easily irritable uh, then we can say that they may be having uh, inappropriate sexual behavior will be there so these are the some of the common clinical features of mental retardation now we will see what may be the diagnostic evaluation how we can diagnose this mental retardation so while come to the diagnostic evaluation the important thing is history collection so we have to collect a proper history uh, especially regarding the perinatal history from the mother then we'll go for the mental status examination to identify any of the psychiatric sometimes mental retardation may be having associated uh, psychiatric problem so mental status examination to rule out associated psychiatric problem neurological examination then the person will be having sometimes uh, uh, what we can say errors of metabolism then the urine examination blood investigation electroencephalography that is a eeg mri ct scan apart from this one the main thing we can go for the psychological assessment test means psychological test will be doing that so we can find out the intelligence quotient or iq of the patient so while coming to this uh, uh, psychological assessment we have so many tests Stanford Binet test, Binet Kamet test, then uh, we can go for a Bartias battery test, 
so like there are so many even uh, which layers adults intelligence test then which layers uh, children intelligence test so like that we have so many uh, psychological assessment test will perform to this particular person now we will move to the treatment of the mental retardation so while coming to the treatment so if you see the treatment there is not a specific or not a proper treatment for the mental retardation if the person is having mental retardation it is a lifelong condition they have to continue with this mental retardation there is no treatment for the mental retardation so the thing what we can do we can provide a psychological support to the family members then we can go for a behavioral modification of the person then rehabilitation psychiatric rehabilitation or psychological rehabilitation we can do for this particular person and if they have any associated psychiatric problem we can provide treatment for this associated psychiatric problem so these are the treatment for the mental retardation uh, this is all for today's class uh, this is Vishant uh, signing off till we meet the next class